In the year 2024, I am bringing you through your house room by room and helping you declutter. I have found that decluttering by location is by far hands down the way to go. If your house is already extremely organized, then decluttering by category works but that's not the majority of us. Today, for the month of February, you are gonna work in your kitchen. We're gonna go through upper and lower cabinets. I'm also gonna take you through, I'm gonna show you inside. I did not pre-declutter. I just am gonna be as surprised as you are to find what's inside. This might seem like a lot, upper and lower cabinets, but I feel like if you can take the entire month and pace yourself week by week, Trust me, five minutes makes a difference. I know it doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's absolutely not gonna matter, but it does. Any progress you make is going to get you closer to your goal of having a decluttered home. Okay, let's get inside of this one first. A huge thank you to the company Wild for partnering with me on today's video. Here is where I keep my baking supplies. I also love having my measuring cups and spoons on little hooks on the inside of my cabinet doors. I think this is such a cool way to utilize the space. Okay, let's go with garbage first. I know, I mean, I don't know what the expiration date is on this. I also have this lid to a candle that I've completely burned up. I get rid of pretty much all of my candle tops. I just find that I don't use them and they end up rattling around in here somewhere. So this I know for a fact I can throw away. So I'm just gonna look, oh yeah, look here's another one. Let's get rid of it. Is there anything else? Oh, here's another one. I don't know why I never use these. <laughs> do you use the tops of your candles? It's handy if you're stacking, but I don't do that. Okay, here's another time I'm like, I could go through my medicine and see what's expired. I also think these are these vitamins are expired. In fact, I'm like 100% positive. They've been up here for years. So this is garbage. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these away. Another lid. You guys, what in the world? I can't even, I have no excuse for this. Now I'm gonna go through my vitamins. Since my vitamins are right here, I just took out what was expired, only a few things actually. Some more baggies with who knows what the expiration is on them. If you're kind of following Dana's method, which I think is so awesome, you can look for relocate items after you do the trash. Next is gonna be donations that are super duper obvious. Have I ever used this? Um, air fryer recipes? No, and I've had my air fryer for like a year. And if I need a recipe, I will go on Pinterest so I'm gonna go ahead and probably donate these. I also have this scale for weighing food. I don't use it. I've had this for probably three years. I've had the opportunity, I've never used it. So that's my cue that I can let it go. And then I know that I don't use this, the quick fix kitchen. Sadly, it's so cute and I love Tia, but I don't use it. So I'm gonna be real realistic with myself and let it go. Here's the situation. I've got two of these jars. Aren't they cute? I mean, that's why I've kept them, which is kind of a trap. And I have gotten into trouble for doing this in the past with myself. And I need to learn for myself and say, don't keep things just because they're cute. Or you can see the potential of an item. Now I do need more storage for my vitamins. These aren't gonna work. These are not gonna fit. But what if we took the little vitamin C packets that are just straggling in here? That could work. That could work because these are kind of awkwardly in here with the vitamins. Let's do that. Let's keep the vitamin C drink packets in here. Now I get to keep the jar. This one's way, it way cleaner. <laughs> it looks way better. Now I get to keep the jar and I've come up with a better system for my vitamins, which were already an issue. That is awesome. Now I can declutter this one. I am gonna move on. What got me so excited about the brand Wild is that they are made from natural ingredients and they don't contain toxins like aluminum, salt, and parabens. They're made from ingredients like shea butter. Their deodorant comes in these re reusable cases, which I think is absolutely amazing. And the refills are also natural. I love that they also have this little travel size deodorant, which I think is perfect for on the go. 
I like deodorants that aren't too slimy, that are actually a little bit more creamy and that don't just sit on top of the skin. That is exactly what this is. My two personal favorite scents are the Linen and Lilac and the Ocean Mist. These are both really light and fresh. They have a huge selection of scents that you can choose from on their website. And they even have limited edition scents. The one I'm excited to try is Orange and Neroli. I'll be trying that one next. I have been using Wild Deodorant for a month. I've used up an entire stick and and guys, I was skeptical at first. I wasn't sure if a more natural deodorant could actually give me the results that I need. I went from having to apply deodorant twice a day and this is just like the regular one that the grocery store offers with aluminum to only having to apply once a day. And I absolutely love that. I love that the ingredients are better for me. Of course, I have a coupon code for you. You can try wild and get 20% off your very first order by using my coupon code Candice2024. If you wanna do the monthly subscription, which is what I'm doing, you can also use the code Candice2024 to get 20% off your first month's order. Be sure to check out the description box for all the links you need. This is another cabinet along the top. Um, this is where we keep our glasses, our dishware, and uh, apparently all of our Taco Bell sauces. Clearly we're not using this many. This looks like garbage to me. This is where I'm gonna start with this. I love though that my family has figured out a way, it wasn't me, somebody in my family decided to use my little bowl from Italy, I've talked about this before, um, for these packets, which I love. Use the special stuff, don't save it, and then once you pass on and someone finds it, nobody knows what it is, nobody has any memories with it. So there's just too many. I don't wanna get rid of all the Taco Bell. Guys, I hate Taco Bell, tell me what you think. I, I don't like it. But let me know in a comment if you eat Taco Bell, if you enjoy it. All right, look at how many packets we have. Absolutely nobody in my house eats the fire sauce. So I can go through quickly and pick out all these bright red ones. And maybe that's all we do. No, we can't keep all these milds either. It's way too many. What a funny way to store some Taco Bell packets. <laughs> I don't know. That's my family. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and look for any other garbage. Guess what? another lid <laughs> just like with the candles there's another floating lid this doesn't go to a candle it goes to a little cute heart container that I no longer have this is garbage also did not love these these are like healthy little chocolates can't believe I didn't like them but I didn't because I love chocolate I'm gonna go ahead and see if anyone in my family wants those that's garbage guess what else is trash I asked you guys about this a while back should I keep this with a chip and I've kind of been hanging on to it, deciding what to do. But you know what, in those comments, so many of you were like, no, not worth it. Don't keep anything with a chip. You're gonna cut yourself, it's trash. So you know what, today's the day. It is so handy if you wanna write the steps out. And I'm, I'm this is Dana, I'm telling you again. And I'm gonna, of course, link her channel. She's a genius. Write the steps out and keep them in front of you because it's number one trash, you've gotta keep that in your mind because you're so tempted to go through and grab stuff that you know is a donation, but we're not there yet. Is there any other garbage? Now I'm gonna ask, is there anything else that doesn't belong here that needs to be relocated in another part of the house? Um, no. <laughs> these, these paint brushes are up here. They've been up here forever. Where would I look for it first is what Dana would want me to ask myself. I would look here because this is where we paint in the kitchen. This is not conventional. A lot of people don't have uh, uh, paint brushes up with their glasses, but this is where they fit. Ideally, I'm gonna clean out another cupboard down here in the bottom part of the cabinets and I'm gonna make some more room so that I can keep this with art supplies. I wanna make a little art supply bin but again, that's a little bit more like organizing and I'm not there yet. And I know there's not room down there. So for a second, for now, rather than crowd that space out even more, I'm just gonna make the decision to keep these here. Um, we need more glasses. We have broken every single one of our drinking glasses. I don't know how, I, it was me, really, me doing the dishes. I broke them and I feel so bad, but I can't get rid of anything. 
because we are currently using our mugs as drinking glasses. So I need to keep them. My son drinks out of this all the time. He thinks it's fun. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that. I have this little saucer that I absolutely adore. I have this beautiful um, vintage napkin holder that I got from a thrift antique shop. So I'm gonna actually move this to the front so that I use it more often because I think it's beautiful and when we host, I love to set out napkins in a pretty way. This is where I keep pots and pans, pretty much anything that I cook with. I keep my little bullet blender here, my rolling pin. I don't think there's any trash down here, but let's see. This thing, I've used this a couple times. It's one of those things that you put on top of like, uh, if you're making spaghetti and you don't want it to splatter, it's like a splatter shield. I used it like one time, but the rest of the time it's just been sitting down here. Okay, <laughs> guess what? I did not realize that I still had one of these. Oh my gosh, that's a relocate. And lucky for me, it just goes in this drawer right above. So how awesome is that? I don't see any trash down here. Okay, everything else in here I use minus this one. I don't really use muffin or I do use muffin tins. I don't really use these loaf pans. I feel like it takes like twice as long to bake. And then I feel like the muffins are so much easier to freeze, hand out to my kids, and they just cook in half the time. So I... I think this is such, like it seems like such a staple, but because I haven't used it, I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. And if I regret it later, can I get another one of these for like 10 bucks on Amazon or at the thrift store? Absolutely. So I'm gonna let that go. Everything else in here, I use. <laughs> this section over here is a little scary. This thing right here. Um, it is for chopping like, um, onions. You can chop different veggies or I guess fruit with it. Here is the problem. I lost the lid for it and this thing is really, really sharp. I am actually surprised that I kept it knowing that I did not have the lid. I don't use this. I don't cook with onions. Maybe that's crazy, but I hate onions. <laughs> Just like I hate Taco Bell. So I am going to go ahead and put this in the trash or recycle because I don't feel like this is actually safe. So I'm gonna put that in the garbage. All right, is there any other trash in here? Just some little labels. Uh, I don't think that's garbage. I've been looking for some hand sanitizer wipes. I'm so glad I found these. These, um, these can go in my car. Okay, I just lifted up one of the bowls and found this little piece of trash. There's also some broken glass in here. Yikes. So lift everything up. Don't just peek inside. You have to lift everything up because like there's stuff hidden underneath. Okay, now I have to ask what is a super obvious donation? These little labels. I think I have two of these. So I don't need two. I know that for a fact. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate these because they're still good and they came with a little chalk brighter. I have one pie dish. I have a couple things of Tupperware. I have a couple mixing bowls, um, little casserole dish and some like cake dishes. But honestly, I use all of it all the time. But it's nice that I know I don't have something dangerous in here. I'm so happy about those sanitizer wipes. What a great relocate. Okay, I think that is gonna be it for lower cabinets. So go through your upper and lower cabinets. Just pace yourself. I'm gonna write out Dana's five-step decluttering process, which I think is genius. And I do think you should write it down and stick it somewhere where you can see it while you're decluttering. While I was wiping that out, I just realized that I have a duplicate here. I have two of these same exact size cake pan, casserole dish, whatever you wanna call it. Oh my goodness, how did I not notice that before? So I think I am going to declutter this. The kitchen has so many duplicates, it's crazy, and sometimes you don't even notice. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this cake pan. That is looking so much better. Here is everything that we're decluttering from the kitchen today, minus this, which I need to put in the recycle, um, this as well, because it's chipped. So I'm gonna recycle these two, 
but I feel like that's pretty good, especially when I didn't think I was gonna maybe be able to really declutter anything. Well, I am so excited to cheer you on your decluttering journey this year. So let's chat in the comments so I can give you some more encouragement. Also, don't forget to check out Wild. Again, all the links you need will be down in the description box below. Thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.